Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Last time, we celebrated the oh-so-lovable Biscuit's birthday, which was over a month ago, how time flies. Pal, it's changed a lot since he last saw it. Anyway, this time, we are here to celebrate Father's Day, which, much like its mother counterpart, mother counterpart, is that the right term? Uh, is very downplayed in the world of Animal Crossing, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't really get the respect it deserves. Isabel doesn't have any sort of present for you at the town hall. Your animals don't really act any different on this day. Yeah, it doesn't really mean much. But what you do get is... A letter... From Egbert, apparently. All right, we'll read this one first. Hey, Mail and Venice, well, when I was out shopping and I thought it might look spiffy in your house. Don't you think so, too? Thoughtful Egbert. Okay, well, let's get that out of the way first and see what it was he got me. He got me a TV with VCR. Uh, apparently, he thinks I'm old school if he got me one with a VCR. And now we got a letter from our dad. Dad doesn't write to us as much as mom does, I'll say that much. Dear sweet Emil, how you doing? Made enough friends? Eating enough? Your mom is always worrying about you? Dad, even when he does write to me, it's always about my mother, never about him. Well, on this Father's Day of Father's Days, he will send you red carnations. If you might recall, our mom sent us pink carnations on Mother's Day, and this is the counterpart to that. Carnations are the rarest type of flower of all, as I've said before. And it is possible to breed your red carnations with your pink carnations to get white carnations. Personally, I really think you should have gotten white carnations from your mom and red from your dad, and it should have made pink when you bred them, just because that way it'd be more consistent, though. But the way that you do it is that you breed the two of them. If you have a beautiful town like me, you still are going to want to water flowers to give them a higher chance of breeding, of course. So if you are having trouble getting more carnations, be sure to do that. Also, be careful not to step on them, because you only get one carnation a year, unless you have friends who give them to you. Like me, because I always trample my carnations as much as I try not to. But, um, yeah, Father's Day, that's really it in the way of the festivities, if you want to even call them that. And, uh, while we're going around town, I would like to talk to the villagers a little bit. Here we got Crook. Uh, why am I choosing to talk to you first? Yeah, Crook, monsieur. Rain is so great. It cleanses the body, it freshens the soul, makes me feel shiny new. Makes you want to sing, but I, but I, I won't, but I want to. Crazy. Oh, he's been hanging out with Pietro, I see. Uh, okay, well, he's nice and smooth and shiny, like one of those jungle frogs, which is what he is. Lately, Lake of the Villain has a lot of flawless trash and fewer weeds. Yeah, fewer both the flowers, too. Just because of that keep palette beautiful ordinance you enacted? Well, it makes me think this town looks pretty stinking nice. Gahaha, yes, whoever decided that we should do that ordinance, which was many of you, should feel really happy with yourselves right about now. Uh, about that, though. About the town being being beautiful. You might notice that I went really crazy with the flowers just everywhere. And uh, I have some other plants around here, such as this bamboo. Thing is, bamboo gets crazy out of control. This is just out of me not digging up these bamboo shoots a couple of times. It has already spread it out this far. This is only like forgetting a couple of times, like I said. No, Pietro wants to talk. I'm sorry for the interruption, though, but yeah, it's pretty much done. Found you, cowboy. I'm always gonna find you. Yeah, he's calling me cowboy, as a lady. Hey, you, up there, feed me. Oh, hello there, cowboy. Sorry, just my tummy. I haven't eaten since morning, so I guess I'm, I, I wrote... So, so sing a song I wrote about moussaka. Yeah, I know, I should spend less time at singing food and remember the last... <laughs> what? I can't even say this stuff. It's so weird. He says he wants a piece of fruit. Um, okay, uh, now, what I'm curious about is that if he wants a piece of fruit, will that bamboo actually count? I do have a bamboo shoot right now, and you can eat that if you drag it to your character. Let's see if that counts. Okay. Uh, he dances for us once again, just like the clown that he is, and it's good to see you, Pietro. Okay. Give you that bamboo shoot, and... What do we got? Nearly- not- This isn't nearly as fruity as I want it! <laughs> Considering how Pietro acts, that's kind of- fun. Oh, what? Wait, what? 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 Wait, just because I brought him- No! I can't do the favor anymore! He doesn't want it! Wow, uh, the other day I talked to Miss A from Arnie, and let's see, she seemed like she was a real bell pincher, definitely a cool person to meet. Oh, God. Okay, well, yeah, because I tried to be funny and see, you know, if I could test the limits of things, it didn't count. So that was really, really unfortunate. Uh, I could talk to Molly, but uh, before I get any further into anything here today, I'd like to inform you of something that happened. Now, I play Pallet every day, and I make sure to talk to every animal I see every day. And I've heard cases of animals moving away, but they will never talk to you saying they're moving away, and thus you can't stop them. This happened to me. We are minus a resident of our town. We are minus one of the members of our family. I would like to read you the letter that they gave me before we carry on.
to my number one fanny meal. Oh, this is a real gem. Thanks to you, I'm leaving this town with a huge stock of great memories. I'm super indebted to you. So I'm giving you this picture of me so you'll always remember. Moving idol, Pongo. Yes, we lost Pongo. Well, like I said, I play it every day. I talk to her every day. My other animal said she was thinking of moving. And yet, no matter how much I talked to her, it did not make a difference. She just moved away one day and I couldn't do anything about it. So she gave me a photo of herself. And there we go. Another Pongo's pick. It's really unfortunate that I didn't get to make a video saying goodbye to her, but it happened in a time when I didn't have the ability to record, and I just decided I would drop it right here and now before we really got into anything else. So yeah, we no longer have Pongo. We have a mitten over here that I think she lost at one point, so perhaps that is hers, or perhaps not. It is probably just another animals in the town. Um, sorry about the cut there. I just wanted to reorganize my inventory, i.e. go sell all my crap so that I could pick this up. Now, I do have to say... Even though Pongo was a jerk, and she definitely was, you know, super full of herself, I am a little sad that she left and not Kid Cat, because, sure, she was a jerk, but she did bring something to the table that no one else really did, and she was a part of our founding members of Palette. Her and Stinky are the only two founding members that are gone now. I mean, we lost Amelia as well, but she wasn't here from the absolute beginning. She was just here from, you know, a little bit in, and while I do miss her as well, it just kind of, you know, you don't realize how much you're going to miss somebody until they're not really around anymore. It's kind of one of those things where even though I really did not enjoy your company much while she was here, it still makes me a little sad that she's gone, I have to say. Now, we're going to go around town a little bit, and I do want to find the owner of this mitten. I really, really hope it's not Pongo, because that'd be incredibly difficult, because I don't know where she went to. I could tell you which town Amelia went to, but just like Stinky, I legitimately don't know where Pongo even went. If you were in the Los Angeles area recently, you might have gotten her because I was street passing with people right around the time that I lost her. So it is entirely possible you might have a Pongo from Pallet if you go start up your Animal Crossing town and you were in the Los Angeles area, even just in an airport recently. So by all means, be sure to check it because who knows, maybe one of you actually got one of the residents of the town. Crap, Biscuit wants to talk to me. Crap, 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 crap. Come on, Rocco, hurry up. Check and see if it's yours. Okay, good. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to get to talk to Biscuit now. No. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Crap. Thanks, Rocco, for taking so long to accept stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, let's talk to Biscuit anyway, just because he's Biscuit and he's awesome. It's a dark and stormy night. And it's still a dark and stormy night. What a bummer. <laughs> okay, that was gold, Biscuit. I love it. Uh -huh -huh. Do you remember this? Take a look. Dear Biscuit, you're a master in another universe. Don't question it. Just accept it. Just never... Don't question it. Just never leave my sight. Accept it! Not creepy at all, Emil. <laughs> I remember that the first letter I ever wrote him. Yeah, brings back memories. Good old days. All right, well, uh, I don't really have anything else that I want to do. I kind of would like to talk to Molly, but she doesn't really seem around, and I've been having trouble finding her again, so... I think we'll head back to the house. Now, this is our first update for June. Meaning that I would like to show on screen right now what the new catches are that you can get this month, for those of you that are going for 100%. Not only that, but it's been a while since I last made an update, and there were a few days where I was just flat out not able to update my dream suite because I was traveling, and for that reason, this town's dream address has changed. You'll see it on screen right now. Alright, well, that does it. We got our nice soothing gyroids right here. And uh, it's been over a month since we last met up, that means it's gonna be a while, right? Wrong. We actually have a very eventful day coming up on June 21st. That is our first bug catching contest, otherwise known as the Bug Off. If you want my suggestions, uh, because just like the fishing tourneys, you can catch bugs ahead of time to turn into that, I would suggest going and catching some bugs on the island, you know, those exotic beetles that I told you about back when I did daily updates for this, because those are worth loads of points if you can just catch loads of exotic beetles and note their length in centimeters and give them to the judge in order, you will have a very easy time. So that's a tip for, that's a tip for me to you. Not only that, but also on the 21st is the summer solstice this year. This can be on either the 20th or the 21st. But this year it is on the same day as the bug off, so we're not having two consecutive updates. I gotta say, I'm really looking forward to that day as the summer solstice and the bug off are two of my favorite events in the world of Animal Crossing. Anyway, I don't mean to keep this going longer than I need to. Next time on Animal Crossing New Leaf, we're gonna have a very eventful day together. See you guys then.